Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. This is Tiffany and today I am bringing you my weekly Aldi haul. You guys, I'm filming this intro before I go to the store um, because I'm really hoping that I can keep myself accountable and stay on track. I'm hoping you guys will hold me accountable. Um, you know, grocery bills are rising. We are traveling a lot with basketball. Tanner's playing till the end of May and it is pricey when you gotta pay admissions for six people to get in or five people to get in a game. You gotta buy food out. You know those kids get suckered into concessions no matter what you buy. And, um, you know, I am just, we have just spent so much money lately that it's hurting my heart. So I'm trying really hard to say actually if I can under budget that way I can kind of like offset our bank account because things are crazy right now. So anyway, I went through all of my stuff. Um, I went through my freezers. I'm going to be using a lot of that stuff to make my meals. So my grocery haul hopefully will just consist of the necessities this week, not the over crazy stuff. Um, I do want to try to go to Kroger one day. I've put that off because I wanted to get my main stuff first. And then I was going to see if they had some stuff that I could like stock up with um, that was on clearance. So I'm going to share my meal plan. It's based off of what we already have here at home. And I'm going to share my grocery haul. And you guys, I hope that you are having an awesome week. And I have lots of fun stuff also coming to my apparel shop. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. And you guys, I'm sorry I didn't have a dinner video up. Like I said, we I was sick all weekend. We were out of town traveling for basketball. It was literally all day long, all weekend. And, um, and it was my birthday Friday. I mean, I'm sorry, it was my birthday Saturday and I was sick all day. But, you know, um, I tried really hard to get the video done and I didn't get it up. So, I promise, I've got the video. I just was going to wait and post it Sunday. So, anyway, this is such a long intro. I just want to tell you guys where I've been and what's been going on. Let's get started, you all. Okay, guys, starting over here. I got paper towels. And I know you all, $7.49, but I need them because Marlo is here and Marlo has accidents. So... I just went for the easiest place. Plus, I honestly am not seeing a great price on paper towels. Because the thin ones I've been getting at the Dollar Tree, I mean the Dollar General, have been pretty much equivalent in price and like a lot smaller. So, I don't know that what they say about that is like that paper products are not always better like somewhere else. Because that's, you know, I'm spending a fortune on paper towels lately. So, got some water. That's just to take with us to the games. Um, we take those liquid IVs. You guys know I love the liquid IV when I'm feeling rough, especially this past weekend. And uh, I like to get, take the water with us when we're at home. We fill up our water jugs. I got all those. Those girls love their jugs from Temu. Temu. And I've been using mine. And Ryan, um, Ryan has really been, you know, keeping track of his water, you guys. Like those water jugs we got. Ryan's been using his all the time. So... These are just for when we're like on the go. Um, I don't like to waste the bottles. So I got some avocados. I think they were $2.19 for avocados. I got a five pound bag of red potatoes. Um, I like red potatoes. I'm just gonna say, just something a little different. The um, five pound bag of regular potatoes was more expensive than these. These were on sale this week for $2.99. So I got these just to try something different. We'll come up with something to make with those just makes it more fun when you eat the same stuff all the time it gets old so try something different strawberries I had to really pick through these you guys last week I forgot to wash them till last minute so I'm probably gonna have to put some in the freezer I have been storing them in the mason jars and they've been keeping really well with a little paper towel after I do the vinegar wash I'm telling you it works so much better than those like trendy containers so I got four things they were $1.69 today um, but these were the best that I could find I've got those I got one bag of lettuce, um, only because they didn't look very good. Gavin really likes to put these on his salad, or um, salad, ha, on his sandwich. So I picked the bag up for that. I think it's like $1.79. I miss my produce deals at Kroger, guys. So I got that. I got some bananas. Gavin's the only one really, I will eat them sometimes. Um, but Gavin loves bananas. He eats one every day. Grapes, the kids love grapes. Like I said, if they go bad, if you think they're going to go bad, you're not going to eat them, put them in the freezer. It makes an awesome treat. Um, the kids love them. And then I got hot dog buns for the meal. I got two loaves of bread because I realized when I went downstairs today to check where I, they had given me like the whole crazy bread mess that week at Walmart. 
I put bread in the freezer to keep back because I, I had like a million loaves of bread that week. I think I had like eight or nine loaves of bread that week um, with the fiasco of the Walmart pickup and buying bread at Kroger and all that. So I forgot I'd put that in the freezer. So Ryan likes his bread soft. I don't eat this bread. I actually, I eat my Dave's Killer Bread, which I get at the discount bread store. I keep it in the freezer because otherwise it'll go bad really quick. Um, so I eat that, but they eat that bread and we've just got bread already. So I was trying to, to reserve cost on that. So here's this side, not as big as it usually is, but blueberries were $2.99 at the store. I already have a ton of vegetables I'm going to make myself use that are in the freezer. And let's go to the other side. Over here, I did not need this, but this was actually in stock and on sale. And you guys know me and my taco bowls and you know me and my non beef uh, meat. <laughs> I've been, I've got an entire freezer of beef guys. You know that if you've been watching for a while, I'm using all of it. I've been using it. And I actually eat it you guys. Um, but I still love my ground chicken to make meatballs with or taco bowls. So this will just be for me because I love it. It's got loads of protein in it and it was really inexpensive. I think this was like $3.49. Chicken was not cheap. Um, but priced out, um, I priced this out versus buying a frozen bag. Those are like $9 now for the frozen bags. So it's only three pounds. So, and, and honestly, then you gotta thaw it and you gotta cook it in an instant pot or crock pot or whatever to get it to the right consistency. I'm gonna use the chicken tonight to make the white chicken chili, the white chicken chili, to make the white and the, I don't know what I'm saying guys, to make the chicken enchiladas. So this was $11.25, this was $2.49 a pound. So, I got that. It was more than I wanted to spend on chicken, but um, I don't need the whole thing for tonight, so I'll use some of it for something else. Um, then this, they haven't had low-fat cottage cheese in our Aldi, and I couldn't even tell you when. Ryan always requests it. That's like a protein source that he loves. I can I can eat cottage cheese sometimes. I'm real funny about it. Um, I, I, can, I could never mix it in fruit like some people. Just couldn't do it. But sometimes I can eat it. My mom always had it growing up eating sandwiches. Like we'd have sandwiches on Saturday nights because we'd go to church when I was a kid. And she would make deli sandwiches and we'd have cottage cheese with it. I remember that. Um, but it's one of those weird things. Ryan loves it and I will eat it sometimes. Um, but they actually had it. It was $2.49. I feel like that price has gone up a lot. But uh, I got two of those. Got some more creamer. I'm out of my friend's creamer and I really don't want to go into Walmart. So I got that. Got one gallon of milk because we still have some left. Got this. That's just me. I love that. If I could keep the kids from trying to give it to the dogs, those puppuccinos, they were like spraying it all over the place the other day. So I'm like, you guys, that's my coffee drink. That's my coffee whip. Um, you guys, if you know, you know. Always get this. They actually had one of these in stock today. So picked one of those up for the kids. Got potato puffs because I got them last week and we used them as a meal instead, like to use as a side. I still want to make those loaded tachos or whatever that Mel makes. Um, got some crunchy peanut butter for Ryan. Guys, this stuff is incredible. They didn't have it last time I was in there. It's very low in sugar, I think. Did it? Yeah, this is the low sugar kind. It is expensive. It's $4.99. Honestly, no more expensive than anywhere else. Um, but I got this. This is really, really good. It's comparable to the Oikos. Coffee is crazy expensive. Like, I could have gone somewhere else, but honestly, we're out of coffee. Um, Ryan has to have coffee in the morning because he goes to work at four or something. So, this, um, this is all they have. Eight, $8.49? That's crazy for generic coffee. Tortilla chips. Um, I got some hummus. Me and the girls love hummus now. Lainey didn't use like it. Now she does. I'm still going to make my own. It's something that's on my to-do list. Turkey. Just needed some turkey. We were out of Pepper Jack. We were out of Colby. I think this is a record. I did not buy a bag of shredded cheese. First time forever. This was actually on my meal plan for the week, like to make wings. And I was out of this. And shockingly, they had this. It's a seasonal buy. So I was very excited because it was um, probably cheaper than Walmart had it. Tuna. Me and Ryan like tuna. Enough said. These are 80 cents a can. Or just not the like super white kind just the normal kind in water so I got um, eight cans of that 
I got. Can you believe it, you guys? I have been hoarding taco seasoning mix forever, and I was finally out of it the other day. And I said, what do I do? So I got five things of that. I got this. That was just for an easy lunch for today, because I didn't know how much time I'd have. So I got one of these. I think they're 88 cents, but you only get 2.5 ounces in, the, in these. I'll tell you that. They're convenient and great for games and stuff, because I will take my tuna with me. Um, just to keep me on track or otherwise I'll like pig out with all the other crap that like I don't like at the snack stand. So, um, and I don't want to get like heartburn. So this is five ounce cans of tuna or 80 cents. These little packets are convenient, but you only get, you only get half of that size and it's eight cents more. So much better deal on that. But if you don't want to mess with draining it and the stinkiness and all that stuff, these are good. Um, got some of these. Buy this every single time I go to the store. You guys know that. I like to bake stuff and find Tanner in the corner eating them. Um, got some peanut butter because you guys know someone said, oh my gosh, how much peanut butter do you all use in your house? Uh, we do. We use a lot of peanut butter, guys. Um, but I also make protein balls with it, so it takes a heck of a lot of peanut butter when you make those. Um, got some peanuts. Got some pretzels. Tanner is my pretzel kid. Gavin and... The girls inhaled those dill pickle chips last time. They're really good, and that's a seasonal buy. And the kids don't even like pickles, but they love those chips. Those are my chips. I make some my taco bowls. Got some rice cakes. I like to put peanut butter on those and take them. Like if we got to make sandwiches, I don't love sandwiches with peanut butter, but I do like those. These are Ryan's favorite chips. I love them too. Um, just I I eat them when we're at the beach, honestly. If we go on vacation or at the beach, I like to have these with a Diet Coke on the beach. I don't know what it is. That's the only place I'll do that. Wavy chips. Got those. These are actually a family size bag. Never seen those at Aldi before. They were on the end cap and it was two, $2.69 maybe. And funny thing, I was like loading all these chips up and I put the one bag back so I could get that. And the guy's like, you sure you don't want it? <laughs> he laughed about my chips. Um, cheese it Got those. Emily always requests those. Um, got these. I've been. I love these to be crushed up with some fruit in my uh, Greek yogurt. Love that. Um, lady requested Lucky Charms. This box will be gone in like a day with our family because um, you don't get much in those. Then I got this cinnamon toast crunch. Tanner likes those. Two packs of these just for on the go. Some ice cream just to have. Um, and then I got these because um, I wasn't going to buy cookies today. These were $2.49 on the special. But there is a recipe I want to try where you make like an Oreo fluff type of thing that's actually protein loaded. We'll see. So it does have a couple cookies in it, but I want to see if I can make that. So all of this side, all of this um, side, and all of this side was $1.57, I think, after tax. So not terrible, but like I was shooting for $100, but I knew once I picked up paper towels, once I picked up chicken, those types of things, I knew it was like downhill, but, um, but it was 157. So I did stay under 160, which was my target, like my real goal. But you guys, there's that haul. I still feel like disappointed because I didn't buy near as much as I usually do. I feel like my deals were doing better there for a while at Aldi. I don't know. Still good amount of stuff. Then I ran in the Dollar General because I needed um, toothpaste. So I just picked up these because the kids were out and I don't know what they do in their drawer of toothpaste. They squeeze it everywhere. So I picked up three things of toothpaste. They were only a dollar there for that kind. And then this was actually comparable to, I was going to get Mr. Clean because they didn't have any Lysol kind. I like the Lysol lemon. Um, I need a mop today because it's been snowing. It's been snow. I swear. It's like 70s one day and snowing another day. So it's nasty. And plus we have a puppy, so you know how that goes. So I picked this up. It was only $3.50. So I'm going to use that to mop and stuff. But I think that was like $6 for that stuff. Okay, guys, here is the meal plan. Subject to change because you know how life is. It is hectic. So we'll start up here. This is not Monday. You'll see this today. Actually, this is real time. I'm going to the store today, Tuesday. You'll see this video tonight. So um, this is actually already changing if I can find the chicken at the store. So Ryan wanted chicken enchiladas. I'm hopefully going to switch that and make the chicken enchiladas with rice and beans because it's like that macro meal and it's so, so good. Um, I've shared it before. 
but we'll start with Monday. Uh, chili and cornbread because I love chili and this cornbread is incredible that I made out of that like recipe plan. And I'll link, I'll, uh, I'm gonna sign up for that code today so if I get it done in time, I'll link it below. If not, I'll link it tomorrow's video. So beef patty melts, this is also off her meal plan. It looks really, really good. Probably some french fries, some type of veggie out of the freezer. I'm gonna start pulling those veggies out. Hot dogs. I knew I had a ton of hot dogs, but I thought, what can make those fun for Ryan and the boys? The girls love hot dogs regardless. I'm gonna make my Skyline chili sauce, which is like based off that rest off that restaurant. I don't know if you guys have a Skyline where you live, but it's huge, like Cincinnati's big about Cincinnati, Ohio's big about chili. So Skyline is a signature restaurant. Their sauce, um, they do like these three-way things where they can eat it on spaghetti, you can eat it on conies, you can eat it, you know some other way um maybe a taco i don't even know but it's really good um and it makes a ton but you gotta slow cook it to get it really good you slow cook it like for 10 hours so i'm gonna make that tomorrow hopefully and then french fries and we'll probably have that sauce left over a lot of times what i do is i freeze it when we go camping in the summer i use it then um shepherd's pie this has been on rotation for weeks and i still haven't done it so I'm planning to get it. I have all the ingredients for it. I just need to do it. This is rolls out of um, that macro recipe. Wings. I remembered um, when we were overpaying for wings this past weekend um, that we had tons of wings down in the freezer. Um, and Ryan is going to make the wings. And then I'll probably make some potato skins, um, homemade, and then some celery with it because that's what goes together. And then... Um, Slow cooker, beef below and knees, whatever you say. Um, this is off that macro book um, plan that I said by Elise Ellis. And then I've got pasta, tons of pasta saved. I've still got that squash I bought forever ago. It's still, I mean, squash day is good forever. I've got that on the counters. I'll have the squash, they'll have the pasta. And then I'll make homemade garlic bread because I do have a big thing downstairs um, in the freezer got on sale. And then chicken enchiladas, like I said, I'm probably gonna switch that with patty melts for tonight. Uh, just depends on how much time I have, but that is the plan. Um, I just wrote that down as a note, but we are gone on the weekends yet again because we have a basketball tournament. So I'm going to try to let that slow cook, have that ready for when we get home and then just make something easy on Sunday. Hopefully the games aren't too late, but there is my meal plan. You guys, you guys are asking about Marlo. A couple people asked me about Marlo and there's Zoe. They are best friends. You guys, they love each other. They play together. Like, she is a little angel dog and she loves Sadie too. They're Sadie. So yes, we have the three dogs and the little hamster. And I was going to tell you guys where I got Marlo because the people that I got Marlo off of were incredible. Um, I will link it below because I, I got Zoe from someone um, that we talked to a long time ago. I, I, you know, we've gotten, we've adopted dogs before from um, like even the Greyhound where they race the dogs and stuff. Look at Marlo. We've adopted dogs. We've gotten we've um, gotten dogs for pounds. We've got you know what I mean. We've done it all. We've gotten dogs from breeders. We got Marlo from a breeder, but you know we almost got scammed by somebody. And this it's really pitiful when people advertise dogs for free and say all this stuff and put pictures and then they want you to cash app them or do this sort of stuff. And we start looking up the address, start looking up this information, and find out it's completely false. That's disheartening. I actually reported that because I thought they're trying to just take advantage of people. Um, so I was really upset because I was going to get Ryan this little bulldog. Well, I wanted a Boston Terrier or a Frenchie because we love Zoe. And so I looked it up and there were so many scammers. Like I'm not even going to go on on Facebook with how many scammers there were from other places wanting to airlift dogs and stuff. We found her from very nice people that breed dogs. So you guys, I got her from um, somebody named Malone Schwartz. He is a breeder. He His kennels are the cleanest kennels, like the whole setup, like it's beautiful. And he's been doing this for a very long time. Um, the lady that works for him, her name's Courtney. Um, she and I corresponded back and forth. She sent me videos of Marlo, pictures, kept me up to date. Um, if there's any medical problems with any puppy that is born, they release all of that, everything about it. They are reasonable compared to anybody else that I've seen with like, breeding an animal. Because uh, Boston Terriers can be very pricey. And if you buy it too cheap, then you're going to get a doggy. Um, like if it's not one from a pound or something like that. If, if you 
get one. A lot of times they're really sick, like, and that's really sad because there are people that just try to make a buck off of people. They're not. They are reasonable. She had a microchip in her. That way, if she's ever lost, we can find her. She is AKC certified. You know, I, I don't even care about that. I just wanted a healthy dog. And they have a ton of other litters of puppies that are Boston Terriers. There were people that were traveling, I think, for their... They said they have nine dogs. I think it was like their fifth Boston Terrier when, they, when we were there. They traveled like six hours to get that dog. Um, not her, but another one just like her. And they, they have bought um, several dogs from them because they're clean, they're reputable, they are awesome people, and I wanted to mention them. No, you know, I don't get anything out of it. I don't get paid for it, nothing like that. I just wanted to, you know, and I bought my dog. Um, I just wanted to um, refer them because there are not a lot of good breeders. There are, um, like, at least not where we live, not honest breeders. So, um, I wanted to share that with you guys, and I'll link it all down below if you're interested. We did travel a little bit to get her. But look at her. She is so fun and she's so silly and we just love her. She's like, um, just like a little missing piece that we've always had, you know. <laughs> but you guys, um, I'll link Courtney's information down below if any of you want to reach out. Look her up. Look up the puppies. There's a whole new litter. Oh my gosh, there's a whole new litter of Boston Terriers. You guys, look at that. Look at all those little puppies that were born. So, yes, I will, I will, um... They're on Marketplace also. I will send this down below in case you guys want to check them out. Guys, I was going to not, I didn't even know I was going to share this today, but I don't even know. It says, seen, known, loved. You live rent free in someone's mind. It says, the best possible way. Um, it says, you're receiving this gift because you matter to someone, be it a friend, a loved one, or yourself. From the extraordinary to the mundane life can throw a lot your way. Whether you're celebrating a big win, just being reminded you're not alone or you're in need of a simple pick-me-up. Fresh Sins is here. Guys, I don't know what this is. Um, Liquid IV is on the paper. And I, I partner with Liquid IV a lot. Not paid or anything. Just I love Liquid IV. And they sent... These are fresh flowers. Like, they came in a box. I just got home from picking up the kids. Look at how beautiful this is. It's a fresh oh. arrangement of flowers wrapped up in this and there's a card. So inside there's like a little like sticker I guess for your cup that says fresh in. It says with love from liquid IV. And um it's like it's a little card that says how to keep your flowers fresh. And it's got like plant food or hand cream I guess for my hands. It's almost like they read my mind. They're um, giving hand cream, flowers, and we've had a rough week, so that was incredibly nice. It says, oh, I see what it is. It's because it's my birthday. Um, they sent me flowers because it's my birthday um, the other day. How awesome is that? It teaches you how to keep them fresh. So I guess maybe this is another company, Fresh Sins, through Liquid IV. But look at that. What an amazing company. Like I said, nothing I do with Liquid IV is sponsored or anything. They just... You know, I love their product, and I talk about them, and, like, I guess I'm an affiliate of theirs, but, um, you know, not an employee or anything. So, that's so nice. I just want to share that, that they sent flowers. So, I've always backed them 100%, and now even more so. Okay, my friends, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. Say hey in the comments, and you guys, I'll have another video up tomorrow. It's going to be a special Easter basket special video, um, and I should have another video up Thursday. I will get back on track with the dinners this weekend, you guys. It'll be simple, easy recipes, but I love you guys. I appreciate every one of you, and I'll see you next time.